I'm playing as Jill because I just didn't want to do another poll. And Jill almost always wins. And Chris is way more annoying in randos. The only difference between the two of them in a randomizer setting is that um, with Chris, you have to visit the box more. And it's, it's easier and more annoying. I like climbing a mountain. Let's go, people. Let's go. When do I play RE3 Byrand? Maybe one day. It didn't win the poll. It didn't win the poll, guys. It didn't win the poll. All right, so if you're new to watching the Resident Evil 1 Remake Randomizer, here's how it works. So every item is randomized. Well, if it's working, let's check. Every item is randomized. Every enemy is randomized. And every door will take you to a random place. I don't think this is randomized. And then everything else is. So. Now Barry's an enemy. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I'm getting attacked in a cutscene. Bastard! Alright, so. Uh. Whew. It was close. Okay. Um. So what you want... What you want to happen in this randomizer is you want one of these main lobby doors. This is best RNG. One of them leads to a save room. The rest of them lead to huge hallways that lead to other rooms. Here's worst RNG. None of these lead to a save room and all of them lead to dead ends except for one that leads to a massive area. All right, so let's see what we got. This is horrible. This is horrible. Oh, wait, let's check this. This is amazing. Okay, good, good, good. Oh! Um, this could potentially be terrible. Okay. People don't understand this. I'll explain it to them. If you get into this room from that door, we have to activate the cutscene, okay? Now, here's where this is a problem. We can't go through this door until we get the serum for Richard. So when we see the cutscene, it's going to send us through the other door. And if the other door leads to a dead end in the Resident Evil Randomizer, you have to wait for five minutes until he dies. Here we go. And now we have to sit here for five minutes and wait for Richard to die because I will show you why. He's sitting here waiting to get the serum and we're not allowed to go through this door. So now we have to just wait here and he'll die in five minutes. So what do you guys want to talk about? Five minutes ish. I don't know the exact. All right. I can't. I can't increase the speed. Bounce. 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 What's my favorite game to rando? Uh, RE2, probably. I've never played Shadows of the Damned. I've never done a Metroid rando, no. My preferred way to brew coffee? My butt. I have a Mocha Master, but you know what? I sort of hate it now. I... One of the most... One of the first... Or like the first expensive thing I ever bought for myself. Two, two things. Uh, besides something for the stream. Is a uh, vacuum, which I love it. I've got a... I forget what it's called. Dyson, that's it. And then a Mocha Master coffee machine. It's like a $300 coffee machine. And because... $300? What are you, crazy? Listen, you probably bought $100 shoes and shit. 
I make coffee every single solitary day, so I wanted to make sure it was a good one. Anyway, at first I loved it, and I've been taking care of it, but it just it just went down in quality so much. Now the coffee sort of tastes like shit, honestly. Feels bad, man. Maybe I didn't take care of it properly. 8k on a coffee machine? Wait, oh, I thought you guys would call me crazy. I didn't know coffee machines are that expensive. I thought a Mocha Master was like top of the line. I did. I do descale it. Yeah, I descale it, and I, yeah, I do the whole shebang. I looked up the YouTube videos on, on how to get it done. Is he dead yet? I want to order a new coffee machine. No, he's not dead yet. Cause I bought that one like five years ago, four years ago. Try to steam clean it inside and inside out and it'll return back to its original quality. Yeah, maybe I should just go get it cleaned by a professional. No, I have different coffee every day actually, for the most part. Do, 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 do. Still alive. Yeah, I I I ID everything it. What this do I hate to make? Grilled fish. Grilled fish, because it can stick, and when it sticks, it it sucks. Uh sometimes I grind my own beans. Sea Dog VA has an industrial coffee machine that costs two thousand. Holy Keurig? It's a lot of waste. All right, can we leave yet? Still alive! Die, you piece of shit! Die! He's dead. <laughs> so that, that medallion's really good because it gives you three items if you ever find the room you need it for. Alright, bye Richard. Okay, moving on. That is a horrible start so far. I have not watched his no movement playthrough yet. Thank you, spicy center roll. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it for the tier two as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, this rando right now. That's good. 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 Okay. Do I have a home theater set up? God, no. What do you mean, Rando? With, with what? I didn't see your first question. Oops. Yo, Meowmix. Okay, so... Box feet. What was your name earlier? Do I think a rando would save Umbrella Corpse? Let it die. 
Oh my god, these herbs, dude. Did you know it's pronounced Umbrella Core? I want to disrespect that game as much as possible, okay? So I'm going to pronounce it the wrong way. Thank you, Frog and Bullfish. No, we don't need any more heals. Jesus. Thank you, Lucas Sucka Gamer. Thank you for the gifted sub. Bow, now, now. He's gushing. Now we go, 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 this way. Now we go, 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 this way. Well, this rando is awful. Because everywhere is going to lead, or everywhere. I guess I could check what's down the Lisa pathway, but. So. Everywhere is going to be accessed from this hallway, which is bad. Oh yeah, we could check this item. That's a yikes. Alright, so we want to go this way. So this should lead everywhere. So this will lead to another big hallway probably. Yep. Oh, we- oh, great. We have to do the puzzle. Cocked. Alrighty. Now we go visit the other chicken. And he will help us leave this mystical place. See that? Alright, so. Let's go see what's up here. I'll pass. For now. That's a lot of tyrants. Thank you, Mr. Vikos. Sup, Steve-o. All right, so this should lead, like there's the odds of this place leading to like a lot of stuff is pretty big. Yeah, so this leads to two separate ways that branch off each other. Yeah, yeah, there we get it, there it is. So now you have two separate ways that branch two separate ways that also don't branch two separate ways, okay. That room's useless. So the goal of this randomizer, by the way, if you're watching for the first time, is you want to find both the metal, the metal pieces, both of the books and the, um, the fuse and maybe the explosive part too. Now, I think also the explosive part. Or the, the, like, fuel. The rope. When Jill asks for rope, she expects to get rope. Alright. So, now... We gotta go back to the tyrant room. There's only two rooms in the rando right now that, that lead anywhere. And that is this one with the tyrants and then the one with Lisa in it. Like eventually this rando is going to get out of control because one way leads everywhere. Okay, so let's get rid of him because we're going to need to eventually.
I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I need more ammo if I'm gonna do that. T posing hunter? That's a B. Oh my god. Yeah, this rando. So now it's confirmed. There is one room that leads to the entire game. For the most part. And that one room is the one with Lisa in it from way earlier in the mansion lobby. Wait, what did you say your name was before Box Feet? I fucking hate that name, by the way. But it is what it is, you fucking weirdo! Bum, 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 bum. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right, what's this? Wait, no, your name wasn't always Box Feet. Was it? You guys can like whatever you want. Uh, all right, we have to go. I can actually save it. Yeah, let's touch that. All right, where's that Lisa room? This leads everywhere. Okay, let's leave that. No, not there either. All right, so we need to reset this room really quick. Because Lisa's AI um, takes a few seconds to activate so we can get our looting done before it even moves. I have very normal feet. Boom! Oh my god, these rooms. If this guy poisons me. Oh. 
Broski! Yeah, look, see? See? Now we have a room. Okay, this is this is this is why it's a bad rando. We have a room that leads to six other rooms, and in a, in one of the rooms in that room leads to five rooms, and I guarantee one of the rooms in that room leads to six rooms, and then yeah, so on and so forth. AKA you're gonna get extremely lost extremely quickly. Now, if if one of like like look at this, look at this. One, two, three, four, five doors in this one alone. In the last one, we just left six doors in that. In the one we were just in, five doors in that. Now, here's best RNG, if this makes sense. In the lobby, you have this room, the room I was just in, and the room before that. Then, you can connect each room in the lobby, so the central hub of the game, to every, like, big area. Dude, I can't even progress because I don't have the, the ammo for it. Thank you, not a bass player. Um, no, I... Oh, this is nice. If we could find a save room close by. This sucks. <sighs> okay, so the graveyard is there. The graveyard is from this room. Okay, that's good. That's very good, actually. That's very good. Let's get this shit over with. Okay, now we can go to the graveyard. Thank God. We don't have to remember this baloney. Well, we do for later, but I mean, the odds of needing to use this later on in the rando are low. Cause like, so this gives three items, so that's big. One item for three, and it's just like a, a transaction. Unlike, if you use the death masks, you get two items, but you need four items to get those two items. Well, these items suck dick, but typically that's the, the jackpot, but not this time, I guess. Not this time, boys. No jackpot here. The Tyrant in OG is much stronger than Tyrant in the remake. Well, Super Tyrant in the remake is, or Super Tyrant in OG is pretty scary. All right, that's good. That's very good. That's one of the key items. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not very good. I, um... I thought that was going to be not Super Tyrant. I forgot I turned Super Tyrant on. I usually turn him off because, uh, he's a problem. He's a big problem. And the reason he's a problem is because he's invincible. That's okay, we've done nothing since I last saved it. I looted a bunch of useless items. It's magnificent. Yeah, that, that also scared the shit out of me, by the way. Because in I was like, alright, I'll go back to the save room, reset the room, and then go get the other items. Don't you fucking dare. Alright, Super Tyrant. <laughs> alright. Just look at her. Huh? 
hunters are more annoying than lickers. You could just walk for lickers. There's no counter to hunters. Crimson heads. No. All these shells, but no shotgun. This leads back to that room. Okay. This is decent, I guess. Yeah, Sonny. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would have been worth picking up all the shotgun shells. Now, I could. It all depends if we find the shotgun. <laughs> like the only, there's very few times where a weapon for myself is useful in a rando. Like the shotgun would be useful, I just don't have it. And I just didn't want to fill up my inventory. But I'll pick these up. Okay, we have that. Actually, we could get that right here. Well, wait, maybe we got that. No, I think I looted that in my last life. Yeah, where where was that blue jewel? I don't remember. The Lisa room? That's too far away. I don't care. Um. <laughs> we don't have any good weapon. I can't get the spider out of the way. Well, I could with this, but... Go check this way. Adding super tower was a mistake. I'm dead. Super tyrant. You know, I didn't think that killed me. I said I'm dead because I was expecting the other tyrant to come and charge me and kill me, but I guess he didn't have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's get the pistol. I guess we'll, we could heal ourselves. That's weird. He killed me in yellow caution. I must be at the lower end of yellow caution. Let's just go check this way. Like I said, this is a horrible rando. Just from the layout alone. Doesn't matter what items we have. Yikes, dude. I don't have the equipment for this. Okay, come on, lead somewhere good.
Alrighty, thank you, Schmittles! Thank you so much for the big 8-3. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, we have to go the way that Super Tyrant is. That is the way. One sec. Oh yeah, this room. All right. So, we need to go back to this back to the super tired hall. Then we need to go to the save room. Ditch some shit. Go turn in the blue diamond. Not this way. So I guess we go this way. All right, go down here. Go up here. Use the blue. It's not in here. Wait, where the hell was the was the lot? Oh wait, no, the line was upstairs, wasn't it? Oops. I'm gonna save. Yikes. Do 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 do. I don't know who that is. Doo -doo. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to go this way. Oof. Oh my God. This is a combination of five, six, and three, but you have to just like. Uh. No slide. No, there's no code Veronica remas or re randomizer, sorry. Oh, I see. 
Damn. We have access to how to kill these bees, but it's really, really, really far away. Dude, this rando. Barry! Oh, that's good. Thank you. And Barry is here, so that's really good. Just take a look at this. Shit, we're gonna have to come back to this room later. Thank you, God. Uh... Well... So... You can't kill- Super Tyrant is invincible. Alright, we're about to go on an adventure, so... here there's two rooms i'm looking for one they're both up here i think okay this one go willow Of course, it's Yawn. Yawn makes Neptune trigger really quickly, which isn't cool. Okay. That is nice. That's good. That's good, that's good. Thank you, Archangel. Hmm. Good. Thank you, Raph. 
Okay. So. I'm not risking getting poisoned. Yeah, Neptune can't get randomized. Up, 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 up. So many freaking spiders. What? This is Tyrant. I'm fucked. That's good. Okay, he's only gonna... Sp yeah, see, I told you. That's so bad. And you're probably thinking, how'd you know it was Tyrant? Because I have every single... I played this so much that I have every single glitched out sound. Sounds glitch out for certain enemies, and they glitch out in a certain way in certain rooms. And I just know that chewing sound means Tyrant in that room. Yes, I know. When a celebrity passes away, the chat, people just dive into Twitch chats every 60 seconds and say that it happened. But yes, when a celebrity dies, every streamer knows within the first minute. And they will continue to hear about it. Every minute. Okay. We need th this. What? Okay. Yo, Evil King. He didn't get staggered. That time he did. Shit, that's... No, I don't take any medication. I'm raw dogging it. Yo, Liu Kang. Shit. Well, I guess we can check this way. Jan? Who is it? They usually sh Oh, nice. Okay, we just need one more item and we can beat the game. I think. 
Oh. Fuck, wait, where was that stupid? Shit, I'm so scared of this room. As soon as we go through that door, that's that's what triggers Tyrant to do his thing. Um Well, we need one more item, but that could be that could be in a minute or an hour. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to take their grenade launcher now. Okay, so let's go into this room first. This tyrant can't get us at the moment. I might play another rando, depending on how long this takes. It's getting really confusing, though. Oh, this is this is the super tyrant room. I'm getting out of there. This is why I don't activate super tyrant usually. Because I can't go in that room. I just can't. If I go up those stairs, he is charging at me. And I know what some people... Just kill him. He's invincible. Just run by him. You can't. Get him to grab you and use the iframes to get by. You can't. You're just fucked. That's just how it is. It's unfortunate. Thank you, Liu Kang, for the sub. I think I broke the sound. Oh, wait. Just flash him. What's the, what if there's an item I need? Here, here, here's the thing. So when you're playing through randomizers, Every item you want to get is a gamble. So I've seen a lot of chat being like, oh, pick up the, use the death mask, use the death mask. Collecting four death masks that are all scattered throughout the randomizer and then going down the stairs and then using all four death masks and finding the crimson head is for two items. Or you could just find a new room in two seconds and, and find two more items. You know what I mean? You only go do the death masks and all that other shit if it's, if it's, last ditch scenario like if you have no other options because why would you take something that takes 10 minutes when you could do something that takes 20 seconds and achieve the same outcome you know what I mean but if it's the last outcome possible then you gotta go for it and on top of that there's no items in that room so uh thank you cult Thank you, 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 thank you. Wait, I got soft locked once with Super Tyrant. Like I was on one side of a door, and he was on the other. But the the door I was stuck at, like I got by him the first time, and then on my way back, he was standing there in front of me, and I could show you guys the room if we find it. And the room I could go in led to a dead end. And then he led to a hallway, but he was taking up the whole hallway. So I couldn't get, I just like, as soon as I go in the room, he just smashes me against the wall and that's it. You know, you can't kill him. You can't get by him. So you're just, you're between a wall and a dead end. And yeah, it's unfortunate. This is the only Resident Evil randomizer that has something like that, actually. It's pretty funny. Okay, there's a good chance the item I need's in here. Or good chance, like a 5% chance, but that's a good chance. Do I have any current world records? No. I mean, I don't, I have, like if I'm gonna have a record in any of the games I run, I'd need to run them. I mean, I think I still have world records, but nothing like worth talking about. Yikes. I have this. I'll probably speed run the new Tomb Raider 
uh, remasters. Any world records that we're talking about? Nah. Oh my. Thank you, McDoug. Oops. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown, Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. It has a new route. Yeah, place your bets one, two, or three. Oops. I'm doing this the wrong way. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. It was one! Where my one's at? Boing, 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 boing. What's wrong, Liu Kang? Uh, where you did you guess wrong? Oh yeah, let's check that. So it's worth it to carry around heels because like if I need to make room, well, I can't use these. I can't get rid of this, but you could just drink heels if you need to get rid of them. At least that's what I do. Hi, Jill. Another long hallway that leads to another long hallway that leads to another long hallway that leads to you being lost as fuck. Okay, this actually leads back to another area. This leads back to the fucking mansion. Boom. Perfect. Sick. Wait, do we have all the death masks? One, two, three, three. I don't know. I don't care. Let's just save it. I need one item. Wait, wait. Uh, no, I do have all the death masks. Uh, no, I don't. Actually, no, I don't. I should have said I don't care when I clearly deeply care. Uh, where the hell are my ink ribbons? Am I just like glazing over them? Wait. Do I not have any? Yep. Uh. Get off me, fuck boys. we go back this way you know deep down you're gonna have to use the masks winky <laughs> yeah yeah deep down I do because I always have to fucking use the masks because I get insanely bad luck in this rando all the fucking time like the amount of times that I have factually had to loot in every single item besides like maybe one or maybe two in a rando for re1 remake would make your head spin like there are so many times where I've just been in every room and looted every single item that has ever existed in this game this room's not random it's always this room that was a bad idea okay I should have not I sh 
You should not loot this if you're not 100% safe. Because, well, one, spider is the worst thing you can get in here. Or no, yawn is. And then spider's second worst. Because if you don't have a good item on you, the spider will just like soft lock you. Potentially. Oh, this is this. Fuck this room. It takes forever to get through. Well, I, sh uh, I don't have many options right now. Okay, this is good. Yeah, dude, the odds of Yawn being in the next room are so high. He's always in the next room. I feel like I see him like half the time in here. What's a Yawn? It's the big snake. It's a zombie. The big cheese. This is why I didn't pick up shotgun shells earlier, because there's a fuck ton of them in this game. <laughs> so it's like, oh no! Oh wait. They're like an uh, invasive species in the item pool. But there are randos where it's like, where the hell are they? Now this... Yo, thank you, Zachers. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very generous. This sucks dick. Because this room takes forever to get through. And I need to just bring one item all this way to get two items. So it's like, this is the whole risk and reward of Resident Evil 1 Remake. Like, do I really want to bring the lighter all the way back to that room just for the odds of one of those two items, like the 1% chance that there's something I need? In my case right now, yes, because I'm running out of items in this game. But normally you'd say no. Isn't that- no, the fun of a rando is starting it, looting five items, and it's the medallion, the other medallion, the book, the other book, and then the medallion piece, and then you beat the game in five minutes. That's the beauty of a rando. I guess we could save it. Baby, baby, boo, baby, baby, boo, baby, baby, boo, baby, baby, boo. Give me one second. I know what you guys are thinking. Screw you, Bach. The fuck are you, man? Well, thanks. That's not very nice. So let's make sure I don't actually have the other piece. I don't. The quickest I've ever beaten one, 20 minutes. Beep 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 boop beep 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 boop beep 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 boop beep 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 boop beep boop beep boop beep beep boop beep boop beep 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 boop. No, no, not the bees. No, 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 not the bees, not the bees. Mm. 
Oh, not the Silent Hill short message. Razzes. Hello? That's gonna be something stupid. Dog. Good boy. Oops. Um... I thought short message was alright. I didn't love it because the end of the game is sort of... annoying, but... It was, it was fine. It's the best Silent Hill to come out in like 10 years, huh? Thank you, Two Scythe. Yo, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you've been enjoying. And it is free. That too. Better than Silent Hill 4? Mm hmm. All right, now what the fuck am I doing? It's time. It's time. We got to run. gentlemen I um, mean yeah, I thought it looked all right looks pretty janky but hopefully it'll be better before it actually comes out all right we are running out of places to check those death masks Shore Master's kind of mid, predictable story, not scary. Yeah, like, I agree. I, I think, like, it, it was fine. It was predictable, though, and it was not super unique. But yeah, it was a free game. It was free! pretty nutty um i need to get by him and i don't think i can i mean we could try he needs just he needs to grab me all right hopefully he, ba he backs up a little come on see i can never check that room there actually wait yes i can Yes, I can. Perfect. Run! Uh... Great. 
This is the worst kind of room you would want here. Because we have to come back to it. <laughs> now the odds of having to go back to it are low. But... Chorus Golden Puppy. Uh oh, this is not a friendly room anymore. I don't think. If what ha what if it, if what I think happened has happened. Okay, now we're good. Maybe. <sighs> what to do now? Okay, we haven't been in this room. This is good. Potentially. Don't think there's an item. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Oops. That's very good. Okay. Our first hunter. Um, yeah, I played FF7 Remake. I'll be playing the Rebirth when it comes out. I'll be streaming it. Um, okay. Yo, Jushi, come on! No. I suppose we could save it again, because I am getting pretty lost. Echo S? What's that again? Oh, yeah, the mod. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what's in here? This is the room. So see where the spider is? Remember I explained I was soft locked? Remember? This, the spider was super tyrant and I was right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and this led to a dead end. This sucks. Okay, that's decent. Oh, nice, dude. The strats. Okay, let's see where these lead. Is that, that you, you Jill? Jill? Hunter. By the way, you can shoot the shotgun quicker if after you shoot, you move forward or you move any direction, then you re-aim. It's faster than waiting for the recovery frames. That's why I shoot so fast with the shotgun if you're curious. What's it gonna be?
it's a bee. We got him. We got him, boys! Oh, the quest for the singular item continues. <laughs> Yo, Hex. Bees nuts. What was this again? Oh yeah, nice. Bonk. Hey, Lisa. You can't warp around in this game now. I didn't save my Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth playthrough, unfortunately, or remake playthrough, because I'm a fucking idiot. I did like a 17 hour, so this is back before I had an editor. I did like a 17 hour stream. Oh, my controller. Oh, I did like a 17 hour stream and I just, and then I, okay, so it was like Resident Evil 3 remake came out. I ran that for a week, Final Fantasy 7 remake came out and I finished that in like two days or three days. And I was, I would just did like, I just did like, Freaking like 10 freaking 14 plus hour streams uh, in a row and I just didn't have time to edit all that stuff so I just let it I just let it die where the fuck am I okay bastard boy All right, one sec. So we can go do this. Okay. Oh, I'm not stuck anywhere. The rando's just taking forever because I'm not getting good luck. I haven't even been lost or anything. I'm just, I'm cruising. It's just taking a long time. Now we have to go back all the way we just came from. I will. I might replay the remake on PC, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what I have time for, but I might. I might. I'm definitely playing the original. Where is this? All, this is all for one item. It's so bad. Like the music puzzle is like brutally bad. Also, where was the plant chemical? I'm pretty sure that's really close to. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like in this general vicinity. I think I know maybe. I, I can find it. I know that much. That's the night room. I'm thinking it's over here. Where was the mask I didn't pick up? Where was that? What room was that in? Super Bowl? I haven't watched... I don't watch sports, really. Alright. Yikes. No. 
It was before the tyrants. You mean in this room? Okay, we can use this. This is for one item, but it could be the item. Oh my god, busy work. <laughs> we, are, we are in the depths of the rando now. You don't want to... When it gets this bad, you want to turn it around and leave. This is... So like, normally, when you watch a streamer, like a new streamer to randomizers, if they dare do a door rando, when they get to like this tier of bad, they're stuck for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. But right now, all that's left in the game for the most part, there's a couple rooms left, but mostly it's all puzzles. So all things that I need multiple items for that are all scattered around the game and you need to remember where they are. Uh, I think I know where this is and I need to get the music back out. Uh, where the hell? Where the fuck is that music? Every chef I've known was an angry jerk in the kitchen. Was I like that too? Yes. When I'm in a kitchen, I'm a completely different human being. I'm a fucking asshole. Why, you may ask? It's because I am standing inside of a kitchen instead of a, instead of a computer room. Because I'm clearly a psychopath. Um, alright. It's up. <clears throat> that was called sarcasm. Yes, chef! Alright, so... No, it's this way first. I wasn't trying to be funny. I'm just giving a stupid answer to a stupid question. You may as well ask if I have multiple personality disorder. Yike. Yike! a lot of assholes in the industry that can't handle the stress. That's all it is. Um, it's around here somewhere, the music room. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's like here. Come on. What? Wait, where the hell is the fucking music room? Here. No? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The fucking the the stupid door handle, man. Where I uh, where is the... Oh, here it is. Okay, so whoever said I missed a death mask was lying. Um... Okay. Now, where... <laughs> where was the... Most people I worked with were not nice, though. I'll tell you that much.
What am I looking for? The... Okay, I could find this. I could find this. Okay, we are looking for the outside, and I know, actually, is it right here? It's around here, somewhere. Ah, over here. It's over here. You get to it from this area. <laughs> No. Because we, we got to the outside and immediately went in, or not immediately, but we went. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Where was that? I could have just did go. I could have just went and did the gold emblem. Here. No. And that doesn't lead there either. I don't think. Um. That leads to Lisa's room, which then leads to the lighter room. This leads to dead end. So we're done in this. This area is a write off completely. People worked in the kitchen influenced by Gordon Ramsay. The reason people act like that in a kitchen it's because uh, most, I don't mean this as any disrespect, but most, like here, ones in the chat if you work in IT. Okay, so like you, for, for some of you, for some of you, like you can, you can go to work, you, you do what's asked, you know, you have your lunch break. You might be able to fit in, like, watch an episode of a TV show. Some of you can watch an entire The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, and you can scroll on your phone sometimes and talk to your coworkers and shoot the shit. Some of you. When you're a chef in a fine dining restaurant, no phone, no chatting about, like, fun stuff. It's straight business all the time. The kitchen is very hot. It is very dangerous. And you are working... Physically working fast enough that you're getting a workout from it every single solitary day You not only that but if you're not working as fast as possible Like it's not as simple as going in and like all right. I have to cut vegetables today. No, no You it's like a speed run. You're not cutting vegetables You are cutting vegetables faster than you did yesterday and tomorrow You're cutting those same vegetables faster than you did the day before and if you don't do it like that Then you are getting ripped out by your co-workers and it's not the co-workers that you like talk about your life with and like all your all your fancy or oh you're like friends and and stuff no it's straight fucking business no phone no horseplay you work as fast as possible like you're doing a speed run every single day in a very hot and very dangerous place and if someone says you did a shit job you say yes chef that is why people are assholes in kitchens because that work environment is extremely stressful also, you usually don't get a break. The only reason you get a break is if you're a, a smoker. And that's why most people in the industry smoke, because it's the only excuse you get to actually go outside and not work. That's why people are assholes in the industry. And everything is on the line as well. Like, if you own the restaurant, if some dipshit screws up an order, that is your restaurant's reputation on the line. And if your restaurant loses its reputation, it loses everything. If we really want, if we really want to go down this road of talking about the culinary industry. All right, this is a write-off. 
Next area. Where was that outside? Like, I really have no clue. Some IT jobs are absolutely brutal. Yep, I agree 100%. Some are some IT jobs are absolutely brutal and most culinary jobs are absolutely brutal. Do -do. Yeah, see that's why I speak with such confidence on this topic because if there's any chefs in the chat They'll be like, yep. <laughs> this is something I've learned from heavy experience. <laughs> yep. Okay, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to... Uh, I do not know how to get back outside. Does I'm, I'm at the point. Does anyone remember the room before the room outside? Ugh. <sighs> I'm lost now, yes. I do not know how to get to the singular room I'm looking for. By the way, I'm pretty sure there's only like the fish hook puzzle, the death masks, the emblem puzzle. I'm pret oh, and the crank puzzle, which I do not fucking know how to get back there. That place is like, that place is long gone. All right, so this is it. We did it. Yay! Yeah, like that. One of the biggest things about culinary is like. The biggest you, you people think about all the swearing and the yelling and the moving fast and the and the working But man one mistake and you're potentially fucking dead like you slip and and fall on your knife or like You you carry you're carrying around like eight liters of extremely hot soup and you slip on like an oil spill or something You're it's over like you are now you're fucked you like you're completely fucked I don't want to get into any more specifics, but <laughs> Like, it's, it's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Now, there are many more dangerous jobs than that. Don't get me wrong. And I'm aware of that. I'm just saying that it is a dangerous job. Sorry, my controller gave it. My controller is just like fucking like turning off every two seconds. Your son is a chef as well, and what you're saying is 100% fact. As well, the whole thing about being a raging asshole is a fact too. When he comes home, he's completely normal to the family. The time I went to his restaurant, it was during a rush. It was a holy shit mind blown moment. He was a different person. So my son, you, and anyone else who's in the restaurant business, hats off. If folks in the chat haven't watched the bear, the menu, the chef, or burnt, everyone needs to go watch them. Yeah, I heard the bear. I heard the bear is really good. Um I was never an asshole in the kitchen. Um but you know you wanna know the type of person I was in the kitchen? I was the yes chef. <laughs> like I didn't care. I was there to learn I I was the youngest person in every single kitchen I have ever worked in in my entire life. I'm not kidding. I was always the youngest person there. Always. So for me, it was just like, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Holy shit, that animation. All right, come on, baby. Please! <laughs> Alright, I see that item by the way. We already looted it earlier. It's garbage. Alright, 
So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make a prediction. Now I might be wrong because I'm not putting much thought into this. I'm just like winging this thought. We use this gold emblem. We get the fish hook. We use the fish hook. <gasps> We use the fish hook? Oh, wait, no, no, there, there, uh, there, oh, god damn it. There is something else left. There's, there, and I potentially know how to get there. I need to go to the save room first, which I think this is a save room. All right, so I can think of two items left in the entire game. Three. So No guys, I never miss being a chef. I have fucking nightmares about being a chef. <laughs> like no, I don't. I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I never wanted to own a restaurant. I just wanted to teach people how to cook and I wanted to, um, there's actually four items because there's this tub that Tyrant is guarding. I'm, I don't mean this in a braggy way and we went into this topic way earlier in the stream about getting lucky and how lucky I got in the culinary industry. Guys, in the like seven years that I was a chef, I, I'm not, I do not mean this in a braggy way. I'm just the reason I'm so blunt about like, no, I don't want to go back. I achieved more than people achieve in the cul culinary industry in like 25 years in the seven years that I did it. And so, you know, I don't want to go back because I, there's nothing, I can't top what I've done. The only thing that would top what I've done is opening up my own restaurant. I've never wanted that even when I was younger. I was. I was 100% in the right place at the right time. Many times. We talked earlier in the stream. I'll just make a YouTube shirt of it so I don't have to keep repeating myself. But, um, like, I never ever have, I've never ever gotten lucky with streaming. Whether or not you guys want to believe it or not, I'm telling you I've never gotten a, like a lucky break as a streamer. I have worked my dick off for the past 10 years and seen gradual growth. I never woke up one day and like my viewer count increased by like 800%. I've never had that like lucky break, that lucky YouTube video, that lucky event, that lucky uh, like TikTok. You know, I've never had that. Uh, everything I've done has come from working. But in the culinary industry though, it's the complete opposite. I was, oh, just like, dude, like just standing there at the right time every time. Like just, just blind luck meeting these like celebrity chefs and shit just happened to be there every time. Like, oh, hey, I just stumbled upon this again. Okay, sick. So, well, GDQ is not luck. GDQ is 100% dedication. It's very easy to tell what's going to get into GDQ. The hard part is grinding for it. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Generico. But yeah, in, in culinary, I was just lucky. I got so lucky. I wasn't even good at cooking. I, I, like, when I started cooking, I was never good at it. I was horrible. Guys, when I went to culinary school, this should inspire you guys to go do whatever the fuck you want to do with your life. One of the first things my chef asked me was to go cook uh, to go saute onions. All right. So I went up to a pan. I put the heat on and I put onions in and guess what? They burnt to a fucking crisp and my chef laughed at me. But how am I supposed to know that you have to put oil in there and stuff? I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anything when I went to culinary school. She said, put cook onions. So I was like, I guess this is how you do it. So I put the pan on and they burnt <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, and I'm the same guy when I first walked in the kitchen, I seen like chefs like going at it, cutting really fast. And I'm just thinking to myself, looking at them like, I'll never be able to do that. Well, that was wrong. I, now I can do all that. And it just takes hard work and dedication. And yeah, you always see people that are like really good at something and you tell yourself, oh, I can't do that. I could never do that. 
Trust me. <laughs> Someone that started from the bottom. Seriously. You can do it. You can fucking do it. Just practice. Just, just, just make sure you do it every day and practice every day. And you will do anything that you want to do. You just can't give up. People just give up. And that's all there is to it. You just can't give up. Okay. I can never get a girlfriend. And how many women have you walked up to and said they said something nice and then asked if they wanted to go on a date? You better say a thousand. Green herb. All right. That's a hurdle. Hey, I'm not saying it's easy. There it is. Okay. Okay, there's a reason I came back to this side of the mansion. It's because there was a few things over here. Uh, the, the crank part might be over here. It might be. What's the difference between the chef? Uh, the sous chef just helps. This is like the second in command. Guys, trust me, you don't want to. If you're not happy with your own life, you don't want to get into a relationship. That's a one way ticket to not being satisfied. All right, where the hell? Um. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Stupid fucking bees. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. The cave isn't over here. See, I warned you guys when we started, I looked in all the lobby rooms and I'm like, prepare yourself because this is a, this is a textbook horrible rolled rando. Textbook. Like, I'm telling you, the best, the map is nothing. The best rando possible is when you go into the lobby of the mansion and every, the, the one leads to the guardhouse, like the guardhouse with all the doors. The other leads to like the main thing in the mansion that leads to the outside with the dog whistle, leads to the, the murder hall, that. And then the other door at the top is the murder hall. Like you want each starter, you want each room in the lobby to be like a big room that leads to a lot of places. All right. We need to go this way. I need to retrace my steps in a certain area. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. I just, I had a, I had a, I just remembered. Well, yeah, everyone's different guys. You, if you, if, if getting a relationship is the number one thing you want to do, go for it. I'm just saying my own personal experience. Like, yeah, the odds. The odds are low, but go for it. Um, it's this way. I know, I know what we need to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. That is the aqua ring. 
So I just can't remember what these two rooms are. So I think one of them might be the cave. Oh, I think it is. I think I think we came down here and I was like, I need to come back here one day. Fuck, bruh. Well, I okay, I don't know where the cave is, but I do know where the I do know where one of the rooms are that I'm looking for. My experience with what? All right. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, this is a big room. All right, fish hook. Yeah, that's one of the items. Now, the odds of what we need being in here are pretty high. Come on, Skeeter. <laughs> Go on. There it is. Nice. Finally, dude. Hell yeah. Well, now we need to figure out how the hell to get back. Well, now, 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 now. It's this way. <gasps> Experience with enjoying Umbrella Corp? That was the question? You mean relationships? Um... I mean, vastly different. I've been in a lot of them. Vastly different all around. The best thing ever for your mental health, and also the worst thing ever for your mental health. Uh... Okay. And we need this, and we need the books, but I also need to take some ammo with me. <clears throat> Let's just go use the medallions to come back. Yeah, I need to get that Orch video back. Relationships are usually something that people need to figure out by themselves. You need to get fucked. Figuratively. More so than physically. And you'll be like, oh, that ruined my life. Maybe I should have focused on <laughs> my passion instead. Hey! Ah, uh, thank you, Crystal Cup. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm a t when we get on the relationship talk, I, I tread lightly nowadays because 
I know a lot of people watch with their significant other, and I don't want to turn some cogs in some people's brains. <laughs> and then cause a enormous breakup, because that's not too hard a thing to accomplish. A lot of relationships are hanging on by a thread. And only one partner knows that. Usually. Thank you, Thana Rose. Or Thuna Rez. Thuna Rez. Thuna Rez. Damn, Damn it! it. We're, We're almost, almost there. there! I'll go get him. You just get in contact with Brad. Whatever it takes. Okay. Barry fucking Burton, boys! My wife of 12 years will leave me if you say the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. No, none of my words would end a marriage. Jesus. I hope. <laughs> I hope not, at least. <laughs> Leave Barry alone. This is it, soldier! Move out and draw fire, soldier! Anything to make a pretty boy feel special! Oh, wow! I thought you were one of them. You're gonna be okay. I promise. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. But you should be safe inside here. Freeze! But don't you worry, girly. I'm keeping a close eye on this. Ouch. Sorry about that, babe. Ah! But you should be safe inside here. You'll be safe in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry for me. I listened to yeah, and he said our relationship won't work You're anymore. Right. <laughs> we are now getting a divorce. Yeah. Later now. My wife and kids. They all Thank you, win. Pagan. Even today, my eldest daughter. Yeah, I just had this on the decks of my computer, so I threw it on the on the on the deck. Oh wow! <laughs> it's a deep cut. It's okay. He's alive. I just know. I need to add a three wine time back. I wonder what Will Smith is doing these days. I'd assume not too hot. Oh, wow. Did you guys hear that? Bum, bum. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Sing it, chat. I have not seen that. It sounds cool, though. Long legs. I got long legs. Look. Oh, wow. Down down. Down Yo, but is that? Alright, you know what? I was gonna end. I will do one small fucking rando. One. And I'm gonna make it the shortest it could be. RE3. Because it keeps almost running the poles. Ooh. 
Uno mash. Jill, you did a fine job. That was pretty fast for how fucked we got. What's the longest rando everyone in chat has done? Assume, I assume a lot of people in chat have probably done this rando because it's free and it's, for, and it's a double click on Steam basically. Thank you, Scrounge Around. Leon, are you okay? Here with the five gifted subs. I hope the RE0 rando gets fixed. <laughs> 